Welcome to the second Arduino tutorial by RoboCircuits. In this tutorial, we will learn PWM signals. The content for this tutorial will be what are PWM signals, what is a duty cycle, and what is the frequency of a PWM, and at last, we will dim an LED using Arduino with PWM signals. So let's talk about PWM. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. A PWM modulation signal is a method of generating an analog signal using a digital source. A PWM signal consists of two main components that defines its behavior. One is duty cycle and other is frequency. Let's talk about duty cycle. Duty cycle defines the amount of time the signal is high as a percentage of the total time it takes to complete one cycle. Means to say, the duty cycle for this PWM wave is 50% and for the second wave is 75% and for the third one is 25%. Then comes to the frequency. Frequency is the number of occurrence of a repeating event per unit time. So enough about the theory. Let's see the practical side. If I have to generate 2.5 volts out of Arduino, I will generate a square wave of 50% duty cycle, which means 50% of the time the signal will be low and will be high for the 50% of the other time, which will blink the LED with a high frequency due to which our eye will not be able to detect the blinking, rather we will see the LEDs fading. In the similar way, in order to make 3 volts, we can take a duty cycle of 60%. We can use a simple formula for that. Output voltage equals duty cycle upon 100 multiply 5 volts. But while coding in Arduino, it is a bit different. For creating PWM signals, digital write no longer works. Now we will need another command which is analog write. To use this command, we have to type analog write pin number or pin name, comma, 021023. You may be a little bit confused why I use 021023. As duty cycle range from 0 to 100 percent, while coding in it ranges from 0 to 1023. Let's understand it using a formula. Output voltage equals duty cycle upon 1024 into reference voltage. For Arduino, reference voltage is 5 volts. To generate 2.5 volt, we can use this formula. 2.5 volt is equal to x divided by 1024 into 5 volts. So our x comes to 512. Okay then, let's program an Arduino to fade an LED. So first of all, define our LED pin. Type integer LED pin equals 9. We have to choose a PWM pin and as we learnt in the first tutorial, pin number 9 is a PWM pin. So come to the setup function. Type pin mode LED pin comma output. We set up LED pin as an output pin. Now come to the loop function. So first of all, we are going to turn LED off, then increase its brightness slowly up to maximum and then gradually decreases brightness to minimum. To do so, we need a for loop. Don't get confused about for loop. Using a for loop is not much hard task. Firstly, define an integer i. Then type for i equals to 0. This is our initial value. i is less than or equal to 1023. This is our maximum value. Now type i++. It defines increment of 1 with each repetition. Now our loop will run 1024 times with an increment of 1 in i after each repetition. Now inside the loop type analog write LED pin comma i. Here integer i will decide the brightness of LED and give a delay of 10 microseconds. Now for dimming the LED again, 
use the for function type for i is equal to 1023 comma i is greater than equal to 0 comma i minus minus now for this loop the initial value is 1023 final value is 1 and in each repetition i will be decremented by 1 after choosing our board type choosing the exact port and uploading the program we can see our led starts fading so this was it hope you can understand each things clearly let us recall we learned what are pwm signals then we talk about duty cycle and frequency of a pwm and then we learn how to dim an led using arduino with the pwm signals so this was it i hope you all understand all things clearly so this was it thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial